Hi, I'm Jacinta Cunahan and you're watching Coast Community News 5 at 5 Christmas Eve edition. Well, what a funny year it has been and unfortunately this funny year is not done yet with COVID restrictions in place on the Central Coast until at least the 27th. More on that soon. Also in the program, police urge residents to stay vigilant over the holidays. MP Lucy Wicks talks PEP 11. The Mariners look like they have a new owner and local police and politicians send out a Christmas message to us all. Let's begin with David, who has more on the COVID update. Thanks, JC. I love that sunset backdrop with Pete Rush's latest sculpture. It's a beauty. Hey, yes, the COVID Christmas 2020 is upon us with a series of bespoke restrictions announced by the Premier on Tuesday in the wake of the Avalon cluster outbreak. The Central Coast has been included in the Greater Sydney mandates, though thankfully we're not part of the heightened Northern Beaches health orders. A new COVID alert was issued on Monday following the tracing of a Western Sydney resident who visited the Avoca Saltwater Bar on Sunday. Close and casual contacts have been instructed to self-isolate and get themselves tested. In related news, the Kingcumber Sewerage Works tested ra testing regime has detected COVID remnants and the New South Wales Health Department has appealed to coasties that have any symptoms to test and isolate. Earlier this week, we spoke with Chief Executive Officer of Central Coast Local Health District, Andrew Montague, with his advice on travel, physical distancing and hygiene. Here's Andrew. Are you asking people on the Central Coast to conduct uh, specifically at the moment? Yeah, so the first thing I would say is where possible, can I ask unless it's absolutely essential for work or other, other critical reasons for people on the Central Coast not to travel down to the Northern Beaches um, and, and sort of limit that movement off the coast if, if possible. It's really important as well if people are in uh, shopping centres or in a close area for quite a period of time, they should be thinking about wearing a mask again once again we want to want to reduce the risk of any any transmission um, and then continuing good uh, good physical distancing so important to keep that one and a half meters away from other people good hand hygiene on a regular basis and if you have any symptoms such as a cough a runny nose sore throat fevers or you just don't feel well and you can't explain it by any other reason please do go and get tested and then when you are tested Please make sure you self-isolate until you get the results. More details on the COVID situation. Keep an eye on our website for validated official media statements about the Central Coast. We'll go directly to New South Wales Health's website and have a safe, if somewhat discombobulated, Christmas for all of you. Thanks. Thanks, David. Well, sadly, COVID is not the only thing that has ramped up around Christmas. Thieves have also been taking advantage of us getting into the holiday swing as more vehicles have been reported stolen or broken to, into sorry, in the region. Crime Prevention Officer at Brisbane Water Police, Vivian Crawford, wants to send this message to residents this holiday period. Um, all you've got to do, it's a crime prevention. Uh, please encourage your neighbours, your friends, your relatives, your colleagues, please lock up your vehicles. Um, as far as um, your homes go, um, we will be putting something on our Facebook site, so please I encourage in the next couple of days we'll be putting traffic messaging out, uh, crime prevention messages for property crime. But just be aware of security. Lock up your, vehicle, your houses if you're going away. That means your windows. Sometimes with the heat you tend to forget and you leave things unlocked. Make store stuff secure. Don't advertise the fact you're going away, and that includes on Facebook. People, social media these days, they're letting people know, and everybody and out there, that they're going away for a few days. They've just got to target you because they see it. Oil and gas exploration off the coast, aka PEP 11, has been a big agenda this year. We had an interview with member for Robinson, Lucy Wicks, this week about her views on the PEP 11 oil and gas exploration licence the uh, situation around this debate of PEP 11 because there's a cacophony of misinformation that is out there. Uh, many people have written to me saying, why didn't you support a vote in Parliament about PEP 11? Uh, the answer is very simple. There was no vote. There was no vote uh, on PEP 11 in the Parliament. Uh, and some people say to me, well, are you, what are you going to do about offshore drilling in, um, in the PEP 11 permit area? Well, my response to that is that I am completely against anything 
that does harm to our environment, particularly our great ocean environment here on the Central Coast. Uh, but the process around the permit of PEP 11 is one that has been long established. The permit area has been held for, has been around for around 50 years. The current permit holder has held that uh, license for around 20 years. And what they are seeking at the moment is to vary their license condition. Uh, and that process, that, that request, is currently before what is known as the Joint Authority. There is a New South Wales, uh, from the New South Wales Government and the Federal Government, it's currently before the New South Wales Government. Once that decision is made, it will be forwarded to the Federal Government for their decision as well. Rock climbing and abseiling will be allowed for the first time at Budai National Park as part of the New South Wales Government's new plan of management. Mountain biking will also be supported, but will go through investigation and community consultation before the development plan goes ahead. Director for Park Operations for the Central Coast Branch, Kylie Yend, Ranger for Budai National Park, Vicky Elliott, and Parliamentary Secretary for the Central Coast, Adam Crouch, was there to tell us more. Yeah, this is the plan and management, and one of the great things about this is the amount of public consultation. Uh, the community here absolutely love this park, and they want to make sure that it's also being utilised in the best possible way. So I want to thank the community for all of the input that they have provided into this plan and management. What plan and management does is it sets up the framework for, for con the ongoing conservation of this really important area. It identifies what things can happen and what things um, may, won't happen. Uh, going forward, it, it outlines that we will allow for some mountain biking. We certainly allow mountain biking on our management trails mm -hmm. um, and then some parts of the park and that's clearly set out in the plan. Um, but there's also future planning that we've still got to do to make sure that we strike a good balance with that. Currently upgrading the walking track, the Booty Coastal Walking Track, which goes from Putty Beach to McMaster's Beach, 8.3 kilometres. Um, we're doing it over four years and we've done two stages within this uh, first year and a half. And uh, the last stage, uh, Little Beach to Mirraring, is just will be completed in the next couple of days. Costa Rican World Cup gold scorer Marcus Urania has joined the Central Coast Mariners for the A-League 2021 season. The 30-year-old most recently appeared for South Korea's Guangzhou FC and will bring with him a swathe of, the, of experience, including UEFA Europa League and UEFA Champion League experiences. The Mariners' season is set to kick off on New Year's Eve against the Newcastle Jets, so keep an eye on the Mariners' website for updates about any COVID restrictions relating to that match. And in related news, earlier this week, SBS announced that Western Sydney businessman Abdul Halal had moved a little closer to acquiring the Mariners. But since then, the Mariners have come out and denied this is the case and said that neither Mr. Halal or any investors had moved into due diligence with Football Australia on an acquisition. So still a live opportunity for any genuine investors. Watch this space. Back to you, JC. All of these stories and thousands more are available on our website. Don't forget to pick up a copy of this year's last edition of Coast Community News, Coast Community Chronicle and Pelican Post and subscribe to all of our socials to keep updated over the break. Well, you may be feeling a little down with all of the recent news, but it's okay. Remember, we're all in this together. And for our last Five at Five this year, we wanted to share this message from a few of the public figures from around the coast who want to wish you a happy and safe Christmas and New Year. And also from everyone here at Central Coast Newspapers, stay classy, stay cool, Merry Christmas and bring on 2021. Bye. Okay. Happy Christmas to the Central Coast. We've had an incredible year. We've had an incredible year together. I think we are more connected to those who are loved ones, those who are our neighbours. It's just been an amazing time. We've looked after each other and we've got to continue to look after each other. Numbers may be down around the dinner table this time round, but we've been using Zoom, we've been using the phone. Let's celebrate from our hearts to be with the people that we need to be with and look forward to a fantastic 2021. Yeah. Look, I just want to take this opportunity to wish everybody in the Central Coast a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2021. Uh, look, 2020 has been an incredibly tough year for so many people. I want to thank all of our frontline workers uh, who have done an amazing job helping to keep our community safe, but also the great job our community's done keeping our community safe. So again, the Central Coast is one of the best places in the world and we really are privileged to be here. And I want to again wish everyone a very Merry Christmas.
Well, 2020, the great year of challenge, is almost behind us. And to every single person on the Central Coast, I just want to wish you all the best for 2021. May it be a great year of hope, a great year of new opportunities, of many blessings, of much joy, of enriched community and sense of connection with one another. May 2021 be your best year yet. I'd like to take this chance to wish everybody on the Central Coast a very Merry Christmas, especially those who are spending their Christmas apart from family, loved ones and friends. My very best wishes to everybody on the coast for a happy and safe New Year. We wish you all the best um, and a happy Christmas from your local police. Wish all of my constituents uh, a very Merry Christmas and uh, also a very Merry Christmas uh, to all people on the Central Coast. Um, I think it's been a year of ups and downs. Uh, and you know, by and large, I think we've got through them. Um, however, um, I ask all of you at this time of year to have regard for our neighbours uh, in our communities who uh, may not be doing it as easy. I just want to wish everyone a really happy and peaceful, safe Christmas. It's been a really tough year. We've had natural disasters, bushfires, COVID-19, floods, uh, and now at Christmas time, we're under stress again with COVID-19. But it, take the opportunity to rest up, spend time with your family, be safe around our waterways, that's particularly important, and drive carefully on the road. And hopefully 2021 will see us with a, a lot more successful, productive year. Merry Christmas, everyone. And uh, I really sincerely hope you have some time with your family.